that shot right there, right there, with the palm trees on either side and the rows, damn. Absolute fire, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. We just got lunch. Dave, how are you feeling? Dude, I feel good, I had some cheese in my burger, so I'm feeling really good right now. Thank you for that. Or Might not feel good in a bit. You, you bit into that, you didn't check. You didn't check your links. I do enjoy cheese, it does enjoy me. Guess what you guys, driving to Diablo, you wanna know why it's so cool. The best part is the music in here. I can't play it for you, Listen. but I can show you. It's Nickelback, it came with the car. <laughs> Rockstar, like there's some good songs on here. Dave, what uh, are we doing today? What, we got some big moves today. Well, big moves. we have kind of a big announcement. We're gonna be partnering up with our friends at AL13 to be bringing our own partnered collab line of retro style wheels that are off some of the greatest GT cars in the history of supercar history. <laughs> One of them is, I absolutely love this style of wheel. The downside is it's 18 inches. It's only on the Diablo SV and it's only on the Diablo GT. So we're gonna go talk to AL13 about making it. So it would actually fit on something like the Aventador or you know, a Huracan because this is a super cool, very unique style of wheel. I believe if you count these bolts, there's 40 of them. And then the way that it kind of is recessed out like that. Anyhow, we gotta go and look at making these. Plus I already have a set of wheels being made. For what? Well, you'll see. Little secret. The Mercy? No. Thanks, bro. There's a GT wheel off of a very, very, very Mercy. famous car and one of the most expensive street legal supercars you can buy ever. Do you know what it is? I'm gonna jump in here and let you guys marinate on what you think the wheel design is I have being made. If you remember, I've already really told you, to be honest. <laughs> That's Chris. That's so sick. Okay, let's go. AL13. by the end melted. The creature attacks anything with warm blood. With the last hope, a dragon egg, you, the new lord, must gather allies, raise your dragon, and defend your enemies! Excuse me, is this the blood of my enemies? Orlando Bloom himself has joined to help you. It's time to rebuild your dragon empire. Flame on! Summon Orlando himself, the Night Shot, a free legendary hero only available for a limited time. Wind tower defense battles. Use strategies to defeat waves of the unmelted. My favorite features are to build your own city. Manage your territory. Let's go. There will be order. Raise your dragon. Download King of Avalon right now using the link below or scan the QR code on the screen. Multiple Amazon gift cards for new players. Download via my link. Use my creator code D-D-E-K-O-H to redeem a limited in-game pack. First come, first served. Stay active and I'll see you in the game. Break! Some down ones! Some down ones! Let's go! Oh, Dave thinks he's gonna get that parking spot. Uh-uh. That's how you get into a parking spot. He's coming right now. He thinks he's gonna get it. Too late, Dave. I already stole your spot. And that, my friends, is how the parking in the CGT is done. Now, if only I had the balls or the skill set to uh, do like a 180, like right into the uh, parallel parking like position. I've seen it done in like video game renders where it almost looks real, but it's not real. I know people who can do it, like our friend Sam Hubinet, who's one of the top Hollywood stunt drivers. I don't know about doing it in a $2 million career GT. I know he can do it in his M3. It's pretty impressive. I've seen him do it. By the way, AL13 made these sexy wheels that we have on the CGT. I love these. They're very motorsport inspired, lightweight, nice clean look for this car. God, I love this car. You say you drifted in here? I wish I could. But look, I did a little 180. You can see a little, slight little skid mark right there. I probably could have. Fucking intern. <laughs> AL13. Let's go see the boys. Oh, okay. Let's shake him up in here. Shake him up. 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 Sh
Yeah. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, oh there he is. Oh, oh, boss man. How are you, boss man? Good, good, good. How are you? Good. Good. What are you off to? <laughs> Clyde Falls here, what do you got there? Yeah. Yeah. That was the distraction he was trying to sneak out before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You never seen it? This is paint. Yes. Bro, respect the paint. He's fing asked me if. If I wrap this, I was like, obviously you don't watch the channel, yeah, Darwin. You do all day. Besides not yeah, make the besides not make the wheels we want. I missed the episode. So this, no bueno. So you're saying monoblock, the only person in the world that can physically make monoblock wheels like that is another company that sounds like Wizard of Oz. <laughs> These guys, kill, look at, he's like, he can't, Adrian can't believe how much I give his boss. Oh my God. So okay. look, we spent all this time, yeah, there you go. Spent all this time making my car look like this car in paint. So this is the 1996 McLaren F1 GTR that won the Japanese GT Championship. They decimated all the competition. We need those wheels just like that. You're thinking what? Two piece? Three piece? Four piece? Probably six piece? Two piece. Ten piece chicken nugget? What do you want? What Probably you want? a two piece. Barbecue sauce? How do we, how do, we do this today? Yeah, how do we do this? Who do you today? have to call? Here. Right, Do you ready, man? We'll make some calls. <laughs> <laughs> the 720 GTR will not be complete without a set of custom Daily Druid Exotics co collab branded AL13 retro style McLaren F1 GTR wheels from the LARP winning championship car. Can we show them the, the Diablo SV recreation? So they look a little funny only for the fact that they're not two tone. So obviously, this would be uh, polished and then this would be like a darker uh, gray color and then we have all the bolts. Now, did you count how many bolts are on there? Did you go bolt for bolt? Yeah, are there, actually, are there yeah. 40 bolts on there? They are. That is so cool how you can do that. That's amazing. So we have two styles to start off this collab. This style from the Diablo SV and this style from the F1 GTR. Do we have any other styles? I have a style. I'll tell you later. We're not gonna let them know everything. These are the first two no, wheels. No. So we're gonna make these fit anything modern. So if you have an Aventador, I think these are gonna look killer or even a Huracan because we already know it goes with that shape of car. And then these are just gonna look super badass. It'd be cool if people bought these and put them on the actual model and brand that I'm kind of going for. So like this will be a more dedicated design to go on McLarens, but I think honestly, because it's a five spoke style wheel and it's very motorsport uh, orientated, I think it would look good on just about any car. So it'd be fun to see people get creative and put these wheels on other cars and then show us and we'll show you. Yeah. What are we doing here? People want wheels. People want wheels. We brought Ryan with us. We don't even know what he does. He designed wheels, Ryan? Uh, apparently they can't, so. Oh, what the? Oh. Intern just straight into us. Now, how long until we can make these for the. Uh, this one's ready. For could we make those? Could, instead of fixing my other ones, because I chipped them all to hell doing 5,000 yeah. miles on a rally, could we make these quickly and bang them out for the SVJ? Yeah. Let's go. But, but the. But, 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 but. The dealers need your wheels back on. But, 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 but. Control <laughs> feed. The dealers need your wheels back on Friday. <laughs> we'll put that You're one on. You're getting the wheels first. right now. I already have it. Oh. Did you go get the wheels? I did. Thank you. They're in the van. Ready to go. So, on. Field, field trip! Let's go! AL 13 field trip. Come on, you want to be a part of this. Let's go. The Diablo SV is outside. And we're going to go. Did you just snag a whole bottle of alcohol? What, what would you grab, would you, by the way? What kind of friend are you? Let's see. It's about tequila. Oh, that looks like good stuff. Ross brand. That looks like good stuff. I brought a car that has your wheels on it, and we have a car that we're gonna copy the wheels from. <laughs> so it looks black, but it's not really black if you look at it. What do you think? Is that black? Damn. Is it matte black? Sand black? Holy crap. What? The tires. Dude, they're from, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 1970. How old are these? Times New Roman writings. Yeah, these are some old school Pirellis. These are tires. What the f you why are you so worried? I ripped this thing around and it's no problem. You're negligent. <laughs> yeah. So we want this color. And then what I'd really like to do for a client, if they order them, right? And they have a Aventador SV. Yeah. We do the SV like that. Okay. We'll just if engrave it. It's an there. SVJ. We'll do SVJ. So for my car, can we do SVJ? And then somewhere we have to put just a stamp that says DD AL13. Perfect. Look. I'm not looking to reinvent the wheel, no pun intended. I just want to take what I like and have it so we can put them on modern cars. They've never made this wheel again. 275-ish, I don't know the exact number, production SVs. And then they made like 80 of the uh, Diablo GTs. And those are the only two models that came with these. Because the actual Diablo GTR is a monoblock racing five spoke that's actually more like the McLaren F1 wheel. Okay, wheel montage. Oh yes. 
my beautiful wheels that I beat the shit out of. I hit something really hard on the rally and I bent one of the wheels. Darwin, I called him up. Yo, what's up, homie? Hey, how you doing? Hi. Uh, that's how our conversations go. I was like, I fucked some of the wheels up. Can you fix them? He's like, yeah, no problem. Bring them by. So here we are. <laughs> They just uh, picked them up from Lamborghini Newport Beach where the car's getting serviced. We're gonna bang out fixing these up and then we're gonna make the new set, right? The Diablo SV style. First set, SVJ. And we had a conversation. We're gonna limit these. I'll tell you the numbers later. But only if you have an SV or an SVJ can you get a set. And you'll have to prove it. We won't let you just order them for any Aventador. Dude, you got how many more machines? Four. Four? How many in total are in here now? 14 machines? Yeah. You are the wheel boss, bro. <laughs> wheel boss. AL13, go and give them a follow. They make the dopest wheels. And look at this. If you don't remember the last time we were here, you could walk down here. Now you cannot. This is what printing money looks like, ladies and gentlemen. This is such a sick shot, bro. Like, you really hit a home run here. So what are we thinking? We're thinking for the SVJ to get its first set of DDE co-collabed AL13 wheels in what, a week? Four days? One day? Two days? 24 hours? Why are you week. laughing at me again? <laughs> a week. Dude, Darwin's gonna bang a set of wheels out in 48 hours. <laughs> how, fast can you, how fast could you make those since they're already engineered? If it's already engineered? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it on your computer. Oh, yeah. How long to do the, the lip and do all the that and the bolts and the... Uh, yeah, probably about what? What's the fastest you could do it, you think? About a week. You keep giving me the same answer. Get up, stand up. <laughs> Rough them up, bro. Do what you do. Rough them up. <laughs> Okay, stay tuned, about a week, and then when the 720 GTR is done, can we get those done in the meantime too? Because that car's yeah. gonna be done by the end. That car's supposed to be done by the end of this week, the 720 GTR. And the Mercy. And I can't be rolling, the what? I mean, most of the Mercy. We have the Mercy. You have a body kit coming for that. Shut it, that was the audio, oh. Thank you. I'm excited about this partnership. There you go, oh. three-way handshake. Get in there, Dave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, three -way. Go like this, everybody, no, no, no. Take your right hand, your right hand, go like this. Put our fingers together like this. And on three, <laughs> keep it like this. On three, push in. One, two, three. Yeah, <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's new. That's the handshake. <laughs> that seals the deal, signs the contract in blood. Wait until we see these wheels on the SVJ. <laughs> Can't wait. Ready? Later, bro. Later, man. Take care. Later, bro. Take care. Later, bro. Take care. Let me know when 720 GTR is done. I'll let you know. Gintani, right? You recognize him? He's from Gintani. He's going back to make sure that the car gets done. Nobody knows, but that's actually the fucking boss. Wheel reveal. Okie dokie. Dropping off some stock wheels. Look how wide that thing is. It's big. Is so it heavy? It's a tire probably weighs 20 pounds. So we're doing this because the uh, AL13 white wheels are going bye-bye. So those wheels will be, funny enough, those wheels are gonna get kept and turned into a coffee table and forever be known as the DD Gumball AL13 wheels. So we're gonna have them with tires mounted and like set up as some sort of a table in the HQ. And they're making us brand new wheels. The new DD collab AL13 limited edition retro style wheels that we're gonna have made for the uh, SVJ. Stay tuned for that. Speaking of the SVJ, there's some temp wheels on there right now. They're actually hilarious. They're hilarious. Go show them. Sure, sure. Oh, you should see the other side too. Oh, they did? They don't match? So obviously they mentioned the other wheels going back to AL13. But the car has to be rolling, so they put these bad boys on there. I don't hate it. But I was told on the other side was something very different. Oh yeah. That is hilarious. Why do they have these kicking around? They must be like the rollers? They're different. Okay, look at the spokes on this one. And over here, that one. Also, Murcielago is right here, obviously. If you don't recall, if you missed that episode, we drove to the desert to go meet Mo, Marshmallow's manager, close personal friend of mine, basically best friends. Damon was like, you probably shouldn't bring to Murcielago, they don't do well in the heat. I said, nah, shut the f up, Damon. Guess what, it broke down. So, we now know what the issue is. In the very back over here, wait for it, on this side, there is a radiator in here, behind there. Right, rear engine, rear radiator, and there's a valve on it. That's some stupid name, like a cock valve. T cock valve? Anyways, a valve fit. No big deal, it's a thousand bucks, but unfortunately, due to supply chain, it's a week away from that part. And then uh, there's this airbag light that's on right now. No big deal, fix that. And then some batteries in the TMPS sensors need to be replaced. So that's basically it. It's a small valve, but that's a problem with this car. The fill points are minor, but they're 
fail points. The cooling system is pretty weak and these cars don't like the heat. So we will not be doing any more desert runs in the Murcia Lago. It'll be an LA car. And uh, a few of you actually mentioned that the voltage seemed low. They need a new alternator. The boys are tested it. Voltage is okay, alternator is okay. The cars are in really good shape. And we do have a surprise for this car. I have bought and paid for a body kit. So I'm not gonna say what it is yet. We'll reveal that in a coming video, but it's being shipped right now. So the Mercy is getting that body kit. There's a wrap design. And then for wheels, I'll probably do the SV inspired uh, wheel design from AL13, part of our collab with them. I think that looks really good with this car. You'll see later what that livery looks like, as well as what that body kit is. And the Mercy Lago will be a fully DDE looking car. I know in the beginning, it's been murdered on black, which I actually do like, but you guys want to see wild and crazy car modifications. We don't do stock cars here at DDE, so we'll be able to build on that very, very soon. In the meantime, it sits and it waits for a cock valve. 